Driving before your window fully defogs is an extreme sport. I don't care what you guys say. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to an actual vlog this time. More, more like an install, maybe. It's still a vlog, still a vlog. We're on a little bit of a time crunch today because I have dinner at like 4.30. We are going to try to get Asa's calipers painted. I was planning on doing this next week, but Calvin and Tony at Empire Vinyl slash Strata Works said that they can take the car tomorrow instead of a week out. So this is great, we're gonna be ahead, but I do have some things that I have to do before this goes on, also known as paint my calipers. I've done everything else. Two days ago, I dropped my wheels off for powder coating at the Powder Touch. The week before that, I did a full clay bar wash, um, and the week prior to that, I unwrapped the rest of the car. Or not even the week prior to that, like two weeks before that, I unwrapped the rest of the car. Been very, very busy. Couple things in life going on. That bus wasn't supposed to turn there, but I guess he just turned there, that's cool. A lot of big life updates that I think I'm gonna give in a separate video. But right now, our priority for today is getting these calipers painted. We're heading over to Anthony's. I have all the supplies. It's just gonna be more convenient to do it in the back of his house instead of doing it on the street, which I was highly considering. But given the time crunch we have, we have no time to jack up the front half of the car paint two calipers, lower it, and then jack up the rear of the car, and then paint two calipers and do it. Cause you gotta, you kinda have to do that on the street just in case you have to throw the wheels back on and move or something. Also, I feel like if I took all four wheels off of my car, the cops that drive by might think we're stealing my rims, even though I'm on my stocks right now. I don't think Anthony has seen Asa fully unwrapped yet and like clay barred and everything. I mean, she's kinda dirty now just cause it did rain yesterday. But I don't think he has seen her in this state. What is this gross stock? I know, it's weird. W it's weird, I don't like it. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks. So yeah, as you can see, fully unwrapped, clay barred. I'm at a war with birds right now, so, you know. But, little details not unwrapped, like this little goodie here. And this. She's looking pretty stuck. Look at this, this is where that acid fell on my car too. You see that? Nice, just nice burn through the paint, you know? Woo! I freaking love impact guns. All right, so we got two jacks on. Jacks on, jacks on. This guy's jacksing off. Yeah, it's summer physique going. I was gonna say, make sure it's leveled. I don't want to put it too much. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right there, you go. You know what's gonna suck? Uh, if we have to take, put, the, put it down to take the wheels off. I'm gonna be so <laughs> Do you have a crying baby at home? Boy, do I have the solution for you. You can take a plastic bag, right? And you wrap it around the baby. This has been parenting with Kyle. All right, so we've bagged off the rotor to bag off the fender liner and then we should be ready to prime this thing first coat of primer gonna go down on this one and that one I think I'll do three I'll do three all right this is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial of how to paint your brakes but just light coats to start then you go heavier tape tape off I'm gonna show you what I taped off actually taped off in there I taped off the Calip caliper hardware, right, right here and here. The drain valve thingy, and these two gaskets. Same with the rear. Are these gaskets, technically? The back? These little rubber grommets, gaskets? Whatever they are, taped off, taped off, and this and everything else should be all right. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. All right, so what we're doing is, because the wheel is turned that way, this caliper is exposed nice so I can paint it all good. I'm doing the back corners too. So I did this caliper, that caliper, and we're just gonna do that one last. That one isn't even primed yet, the passenger side front. We should get it, I mean, it's moving really fast. Literally the most time consuming part of this was just prepping it. Secretly, I'm just trying to steal cars. So update, this is four coats of the yellow and one coat of the clear. And I'm about three fourths of the way done with this hard cola. Uh, yo, Bud Light, you should definitely sponsor me because I, I have a problem. Anyway. This is fucking horrible. It's bloody raw. Did you season these brakes? Dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Three coats of prime, four coats of yellow, 
and three coats of clear. So three, four, three. And this one is gonna get the same treatment. I couldn't really get all the way in there, but that's fine because you're not really gonna see that and I could just revisit it. You're not really gonna see it, especially when you yeah, have the wheels it's on. mostly to this, yeah. So what's really important is I got the nice side coverage. If I were gonna do anything different, I would have gone like stretchier plastic bags so they, <laughs> so they, so they hug better um, around the, the rotor. On our last adventure, I don't know if you remember, but Anthony Milton and I went to New Jersey to pick up his carbon fiber hood and we couldn't put it on because of like a deer or whatever. But now Milton has a hood, carbon fiber hood done, new wheels, and he's a little bit lower. So let's see, let's see what he's working with. Look at that hood though. You have a hood that's wow. That's a good looking hood. My R6 used to be that color. It was. With the white and red. Don't think about it. It's too late. Dude, I also like how the red rotiform badges match your GTI. Those were $100 of those red rotiform badges. That looks badges, sick. And they are so worth it. They're worth so it. sick. All right, so first coat of primer. Um, what I'll do normally is I'll spray it with rubbing alcohol or this, this water rubbing alcohol mix, just to make sure there's no grease, nothing left over. Um, and I hit this with a wire brush, as I said. So now we just take some of this and we hit it with Gotta use a double jack system to get this baby down. All right, next. This is this is just this is this is street engineering, boys. Oh god, there it is. In theory, now this I could drop, and now we're only on the, on the OEM Subaru scissor jack, which should let us down gently, hopefully. And then we torque these wheels down, and we're good to go. <laughs> Dude, you got more anxiety than me from that. No, I, I, I trust me, because I, when I lifted my cross track up, the uh, jack gave out. Oh, yeah, see? I, I had the scissor jack give out, and it almost fell onto the rotor. That's a good way to lose fingers. I feel like, you know those guys on the fishing shows? And they, gotta reel, they gotta reel in a f***ing salmon. You reeling in a big bass Or right a big now? bass, or a, or a swordfish. It's compressed, it's down. It's a good shoulder workout. Yay! Uh, uh, too old for this. Totally, 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 totally. Shine in the summer, heard you say you had a legend, but I know that you were on account cash on the <laughs> All right, so I'm realizing that I never properly close out the video because I had to run to dinner. Caliper paint. Let's talk about it real quick. Very, very easy project to do. I would say it's a, it's like a four out of ten on the difficulty scale. A majority of the time that you need for it really comes from prep. You know, getting the car up on jacks, cleaning the calipers, and, and all that good stuff. But honestly, the actual work itself is is very easy. It's very relaxed and laid back. I mean, me and the boys were hanging out and drinking. So if I could accomplish it doing that, you guys could accomplish it. You don't need a, a crazy time commitment. You don't need any skills, really. You just need space and probably, like, four to six hours of your time and uh, I would say one to two of those hours will be in prep. It's not like you're taking anything apart really, you're taking wheels off and cleaning calipers and then the other big time constraint that comes from this is really, you know, drying time. I, I waited I think 10 minutes between coats and then probably 30 minutes before actually driving the car uh, because I had to. If it were up to me I probably would have left the car on jack stands or, you know, just put the car down on its wheels but not driven it for probably 12 hours to, to overnight. That's just more insurance to make sure that nothing gets stuck in the in the paint, you know, it, you don't run over any puddles that have acids in them that can corrode the paint or mess anything up. Honestly, not a bad project. Quick tips for, you know, cleaning it and things that definitely made my job and my life easier. Get one of these. This is a wire brush that you attach to a drill. You saw it in the video. Um, that way you don't have to manually brush it. I taped it off because the uh, the metal brush things are, are pointy and hurt 
hurting my soft hands. Yeah, I definitely used one of these. I didn't have any special degreaser or anything. I literally had isopropyl alcohol mixed with water uh, to, to just clean the basic dirt off and to degrease it. And then for the tougher areas, I had some of Anthony's uh, carb cleaner. You could substitute that out for brake cleaner, WD-40, all that good stuff. That definitely helped the process out a lot. Yeah, get yourself one of these, get yourself some drinks, you know, it's a very relaxed process. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. I think the biggest part of getting this project started was just getting it started. The whole time I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to take my wheels off, I have to jack the car up, and that that was enough to put me off from doing the project just because I didn't I didn't have the space. I want to give a shout out to Anthony, Milton, and Jonathan for keeping me company and just hanging out while, while I did this project. Again, thank you to Anthony for offering his uh, backyard area, back driveway for us to work in. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you haven't painted your calipers yet, you definitely should. Definitely should. Changes the look of the car. It's, it's subtle, but it's, it's a big, big, big improvement. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTuber stuff. Um, really helps out the channel. It helps motivate me to keep making content. Uh, things have been a bit slow lately, but that's just because there's so many moving parts to getting the 3.0 WRX done And it moves so fast when it actually is moving that I don't, I, sometimes I don't have time to film it, you know So yeah, just keep that in mind and thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys on the next if one I gotta die, I'm going like the greats I don't plan it, but I live like this today Pop a quarter off a quarter and I'm straight problem. She got stammy when she came here anyway problem. If I gotta die, I'm gone like the guys.